السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد um, brothers and sisters i am very very happy to address you um, today for for just a couple of moments i want to thank uh, especially dr irfan khan and all the others um, who have put together this great program i think the theme is great you talking about building our relationship with the Quran i can't think of anything better than that um i wish that i could be with you i can't uh for all the participants i make a dua it's a supplication that the prophet once made and i make the same a supplication allahumma inni a'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa'u oh allah i seek refuge with you from knowledge that doesn't benefit and i know this conference is going to be a great benefit Uh, for you and i make the dua that when it's over when you leave back to go to your homes whether in this city or around the country i want you to think about what you will get from this conference i'm sure it would be great as the prophet peace and blessing be upon him once said khalaqum min ta'lim al-quran wa 'allama the best of you of course are those who learn the quran but don't stop there the best of you are those who learn the quran and then teach it let us first learn the quran and implement it in our own lives and then teach it to others. Uh I want to say uh w- one thing I want to leave you with this this thought. Um we have read in the Quran about many of the great miracles of the prophets. And one of the prophets that comes to mind is Prophet Isa alayhi salatu wasalam Jesus. And he is known for having performed so many miracles and he's known as that when you ask people about Jesus peace and blessing be upon him they will mention the great miracles that he that he performed of course we say bi idhnillah by the permission of allah he raised the dead bi idhnillah he cured those who had born with leprosy those who were born blind he did all, all of these miracles but think about it how many people witnessed those miracles a handful of people and even though a handful of people witnessed those miracles but Allah has brought it and publicized it so that 1 billion 500 million muslims around the world believe in those miracles why because Allah recorded it in the Quran and that brings me to my message yes we believe in the miracles of Jesus yes we believe in the miracles of Moses yes we believe in the miracles of Noah and all of those worthy prophets because we were taught by the prophet peace and blessing be upon him the law gave all of them miracles and signs but the sign the miracle that Allah gave to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the Quran itself and that Quran is a miracle it's a miracle because of what it does not only it's a great book uh when you read it full of wisdom and guidance and all of that but in addition the effect that it has on us in this life as well as in the hereafter you want a miracle the miracle is the quran think about this every prophet according to the quran came speaking the language of the people amazing and so every prophet that came what language did they speak but what language did their people speak but for the first time we have a a prophet that's unique and that is even though he's arab he spoke the arabic language we now have the people speaking the language of the prophet So right now the last thing that I heard there are at least 10 million people around the world who have memorized the Quran every word of it. And 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 those who have mem- memorized the Quran are not only Arabs but those in Pakistan and Bangladesh and in Indonesia and in Africa all over the world African Americans white European Americans have memorized this miraculous book. This conference is great because it will put us in touch and make us have an intimate relationship with that Quran and inshallah if we can produce a generation of people who love the Quran who follow the Quran who implement the Quran who believe in the Quran then we will bring great service to ourselves and in fact to the world and i close and i want to remind you what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah said in the Quran about muhammad alayhi salat wa salam he told him kul inni rasulullah ilaykum jami'a say o mankind i am the messenger of allah to all of you and that's our prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him not just for the arabs 
in the desert 1400 years ago but for the people in Japan and in China and in Europe and in America and in Africa and in Asia all over he's a messenger of Allah and what weapon does he has he has the weapon of truth and that is the Quran and it doesn't get any better than that again Dr. Irfan Khan may Allah bless you brother I, I love you I love you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I appreciate the work that you are doing not only in this conference but the work that you have done for so many years and helped so many Muslims including myself because you have inspired us with the love of the Quran and it doesn't get any better than that again my best wishes for you and the conference Assalamu alaikum